How's it going guys? I got a quick little standard match against X Arrow X26. Now, you probably don't see too much standard on my channel just because I consider it to be my own weakest tier. I spend a lot of time watching it, but when it comes down to putting that shit into practice, I just, how do I even standard pokes, you know? I kind of suck at it. But um, every now and then I have a decent game where I don't completely have my head up my ass and uh, yeah, I get to show it off. So here's what we got today. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Gliscor, uh, just get my poison heal going and I want to see what kind of Infernic he is if he decides to go for the flare blitz or the u-turn then you know he could end up being a uh, choice banded but i see fake out so right off the bat there are two things that go with it and they are stealth rocks and focus sash so i know right off the bat i need to take this fire blast hit break his sash by going for the earthquake and then get the hell out of there and hope i i can uh, recover somewhere along the way but he takes me out with a crit fire blast now we did the calc on this post game and it turns out that that crit definitely does matter i probably would have been able to live with I believe the number was between 10 and 25%. Um, not really a good amount to be at, but, you know, in terms of having protect, it would have been invaluable in case there were any other choice pokes on his team just to see what they would have locked in on as well as, you know, get a little bit of recovery back. But what can you do? You know, gliscor has gone. Can't really talk about it too much. Uh, decided to go into Latios at that point. Try to go for the Surf. He ends up going into Scizor. Going to my own Scizor to take the Bullet Punch, the Bug Bite, or whatever the fuck else he wanted to go for. And we're on track. So... You can see that his leftovers go before mine. I don't know if we're running the exact same build and that might have been a speed tie or something like that. But it doesn't matter because he ends up switching out. I'm going to go for the sword stance on the switch knowing that not a whole lot on this team is going to appreciate a plus two bullet punch. Uh, Jolteon, in fact, is going to get two hit KO'd by it. Uh, clean. Now, I don't know what this Jolteon is carrying or what kind of Jolteon it is, so I figure, why the fuck not? We'll stay in, we'll go for the bullet punch. Um, if he hurts me a lot, I do have Roost. I'll try to find an opportunity to heal up somewhere along the way. I believe he's running Specs with Thunder. Now, a lot of people run Specs with T-Bolt. Now, Specs with Thunder, you know, Thunder's only a 70% accurate move, and people will be like, hey, you know, why do you run that? Why do people run Focus Blast? The exact same fucking accuracy, you know? But w as you can see, it's a fairly high risk, fairly high reward kind of thing, since that looks like it was actually more of a fortunate damage roll than it was uh, me surviving clean. I don't know how that works, but that did a fuck ton of damage. That almost ended up taking me out after the bullet punch I took from the scissor previously. Um, speaking of taking me out, for whatever reason, he decides not to do it, and I guess just try to do a little bit of scouting. I left myself in on the off chance, you know, that I could heal up and he would go for the U-turn, um, and I end up going for the Roost, so get a lot of my HP back. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about Infernape, truthfully, because I don't have any entry hazards on this team. I have no way to break his Sash, and because of that, it's going to be a two-hit KO at the bare minimum in order to take this thing out. So, I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch. It is plus two. Uh, unfortunately, it's not doing a satisfactory amount, you know, um, I don't know if that was lower, I'm, I keep talking about min-max a lot in this game, just because it does, it comes into play a decent amount in this game, but he lays up his stealth arc, supposed to go in for the fake out, whatever, you know, he gets a free opportunity to do that. And I'm going to go for the bullet punch now. Hope I take him out. But he's left with a pretty big smidgelet. And uh, he ends up missing fire blast. So I'm not going to say that makes up for uh, Gliscor crit. Because I really did need Gliscor. And um, I don't know. It, it kind of helps out that I still have Scizor. But, and I also, I also end up getting a crit right there, so at this point the game's just kind of laughing at me. I don't know what to do about that. But um, there's a couple things, you know, out of the way. Scizor is still alive somehow. I have no idea how. But uh, he's going to go ahead and switch in his ments. Uh, I do see int Intimidate, so he could be running a mixed Moxie set, and he does confirm it by go for the going for the, uh, the Fire Blast on this turn. Now, that's a sure kill at this point, so he is going to go ahead and get that plus one. But I don't know what nature he is, if he te if he's running like an Adamant nature. No, he wouldn't be running Adamant if he's mixed. Uh, what's, what's one of the up spec, up speed, down, defense, or special? Naive? I think Naive would be one of the natures of choice. Naive or... I feel like Hasty is another one too, but uh, if he's not running max speed for whatever reason, or if this happened to be a speed tie, then that's kind of cool. It's a little bit more justice coming my way. This is an offensive tentacle. Turns out that they both have the same base speed if you're not familiar with how fast tentacle can get, which is why I really like the idea of a sub SD tentacle, which I do tend to run from time to time, just because it's fast as fuck. <laughs> it really, really is, but um, for whatever reason, I leave this thing in to die, I guess just not wanting anything to take a specs anything and i guess just wanted to see what he would have locked in on um that probably would have been another scenario where gliscor would have been really handy since i could have brought it in on the volt switch healed up that kind of thing but um because of that you know he ends up volt switching out into latios i figure the best thing to send in based on that is going to be metagross uh knowing that the best thing he can go for is a hidden power fire if he has it which a lot of them tend to at this point 
and I know I can live one. Um, I don't know if specs would have even taken me out, but I'm going to go for the agility. Uh, as nice as it would have been, you know, in theory to have Ice Punch on this guy, uh, Super Effective Ice Punch and a Stab Meteor Mash are going to do the exact same amount of damage anyway. So all I can do is pray that after a little bit of uh, prior damage that I'll be able to take him out. Unfortunately, I don't. As you can see, you know, he's left with a pretty reasonable chunk in the red and he just takes me out with a Surf probably predicting the switch. Now, I was hoping right there that he would take himself out with Life Orb. I don't know how much he was left out with or left with but now i gotta bring in my scarf teraki on and uh just take out as many things as possible with close combat so i'm gonna go for that do end up taking him out um i don't know if he knows that i'm scarfed at this point because i did outspeed him so maybe he's running a lower speed nature because he decides to bring in his jolteon right now um maybe he got confused with base speeds i don't know but just based on that information alone i definitely would have brought in scissor to scare me off and it's because of that you know the fact that he brought in jolteon i know that this thing is specs for a fact because my scissor was specially defensive and founder almost clean took me out so uh after he loses jolteon he recognizes this is the play to make and i do not want my latios to take damage that it doesn't need to so i gotta leave this thing in to die and uh, lock myself in on hp fire and pray that it's going to be enough for both of the pokemon that are left since uh it will be enough for Scizor, just because, you know, it's quad weak to that kind of thing. My Latios suspects as well. Um, it's really going to come down to whether or not I can take out Jirachi, because if Jirachi has the uh, the Ice Punch, uh, well, I know it has the U-Turn, so that'll be super effective in itself, but I don't know what the fuck else I'm going to do about it at this point. Just pray that it takes it out. So, for now, um, do take it out with the HP Fire. I decided to lock myself in on that, and uh, that is that is fantastic. So... In comes Jirachi, it's one versus one, I believe, and he's going to go for the U-turn, you know, provided he doesn't end up getting any crits, you know, he also confirms right here in case there was really any doubt that he was scarfed. Uh, there it is right there, because he outspeeds me. So, go for that HP fire, and that is going to be the game, guys, so if you guys enjoyed it, and you enjoyed that little fucking smidgen that he lived with, uh, you can uh, rate, comment, subscribe, do your thing. I don't even know how much HP that was. All I know is I was pissed. And he ends up getting a crit right there. Just the uh, just the rub it in my face. But um, as I mentioned, you know, that's going to be the game. It came down to a very, very, very narrow 1-0. I forgot how much HP he was left with. A little bit of hacks here and there. But uh, that's how they go sometimes. So uh, that should do it out of me. Uh, got some TCGO coming up tomorrow. Got to record some more for later this week. I also have some double headers coming up. Other than that, most of the games that I'm going to be uploading for the next couple of weeks are probably going to be around this length. So if you like the shorter games, cool. If you like the longer games, I have some saved up for later. I'm just going to try to get the short ones out of the way, I guess. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow.